Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, set the height of your 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 roof. So if you're confused how to how to set it, like f uh, I'm going to show you for any slope how to install your first uh, beam so you can get your roof started. So that's uh, where I'm at right now. Um, so first of all, uh, the the framing square, speed square. I'm going to do that in another video, the bird's mouth and the rafters, because I haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, so uh, right now I'm just going to show you how to get started if you're confused about the math. Um, uh, for, uh, first of all, the slope of your roof, uh, 412 is the minimum slope for a shingled roof. Uh, if it's 312, then you actually need a ridge beam. Um, so uh, I would recommend a ridge beam anytime anyways. Uh, it's going to make it much stronger than a ridge board. So like a ridge board uh, is uh, uh, is when there's no support under the ridge board uh, just by compression from the rafters. So I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, a ridge beam is when there's support under the beam. So that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm going to show you how to uh, install that beam. Because uh, first of all, you need to know your maximum bylaw, the height for your bylaw. So in Brampton, they got uh, 9 feet 9 inches or 3 meters. So uh, depending where you are, that could be different. Um, so uh, we need to go below the maximum. I want to go as close as it, but I don't want to go over. So I measured my height from the grass to be... Uh, 91 inches approximately so that's seven feet seven inches so that means my stud is seven feet and top plate bottom plate is another seven inches uh, so total 91 is uh, what I measured from the grass um, so once I have my max uh, the height of my shed then we can do some simple math here uh, and we can figure out what's what's uh, the B out of the triangles, uh, the Pythagoras, uh, A squared plus B squared. Uh, so the triangle in this example is 412. I'm going to show you how to do 512 in a second. So that's the one I'm doing is 512 so I can get a higher uh, uh, to the maximum of the bylaw. So, um, and then you're going to have more storage uh, the higher you go, right? And uh, also, why I was talking about slope was uh, the higher the slope, uh, the faster the water comes off, so the, it's better for your roof. Uh, that's why it says 412 is the minimum slope for shingled. So uh, basically, uh, the, the the less of an angle you go, the the more uh, you need like a kind of like a metal roof or something. Anyways, so uh, the height here for this example, um, 412. So uh, the way that you figure this out is um, you have rise over run so uh, four, 4 over 12 is a rise run so uh, we can say that's equal to x over 60 because uh, 60 inches is half of the width of the shed so uh, in this example is 10 feet in the other example I'm going to show you I'm going less than 10 feet uh, because of the bylaw I have to go uh, 118.5 inches um, so 10 feet would be 120 inches anyway so over here half of that is 5 feet so that's 60 inches so that's where we get the 60 from so um, so if we do like a, a equation here 4 over 12 is the slope then uh, we need to, we want to know what the rise is uh, so we can input 60 inches as as the as the as the run here and uh, so if you just um, cross multiply 12 times x I mean 12x and then 4 times 60 is 240 x uh, if you divide 240 by 12 you get 20 so uh, the 20 inches here is now your 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 height. So from the top of your structure to your top plate, you can only go 20 inches. 
uh, that's what you have to work with subtracting the the height of your ridge beam so I got a bunch of ridge beams right here um, I would recommend like 2 by 10 uh, I'm actually using 2 by 8 but you can add another 2 by 4 under it and uh, just screw them together with some 2 by 4 every 16 inches or something you can have a, a 2 by 10 <clears throat> Uh, two by six, uh, that's not very good. You could use that if you want, but if you add another two by four to the top, you're gonna have a two by ten. Just make sure you measure your two by four. Some of these, like this one, are three and three eighths. It's supposed to be three and a half. So this is pressure treated. I don't know if it's because it's pressure treated. It should be three and a half inches, uh, the the height of it. So if you take your your ridge beam here, you have to subtract that from your twenty inches. So in my example, on my shed, I'm going 512. So I have to, uh, because I want to go closer to the max. So I, I want to, uh, in order for me to figure out B, uh, I'll show you how I did that. So I just uh, input, so the max is 9 foot 9 inches. That's 117. So if I follow this and I put 20 inches plus my 91 inches, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like 111 inches, I believe it was. So I can go more. So I tried the 512 slope, and that's working perfectly. So uh, in order to get that, I got 512, rise over run, uh, is equal to x over 59.25. So the 59.25, the way I got that is because my width of my shed is 118.5 divided by 2 is 59.25 so again cross multiply so then 12x is equal to 296 and then to get x you divide by 12 and I get 24.6875 so that 24 is now my uh, is now my B then I can figure out my rafter length I'm gonna do that in another video so I did that here you need a like a, a scientific calculator to get the square root or you go on the Google and I think you can do that on the internet get the square root but uh, for this just to get the height of your beam all you need is, is a regular uh, calculator like your phone or something so uh, just anything remember that anything on top of your top plate you have to subtract from this 20 inches or in my example from the 24 you got to subtract if you put something on top of your top plate like I put a 4x4 four four. so now I'm gonna have to subtract the exact height of that uh, and then I can install temporarily my my ridge beam over here somewhere uh, just so that uh, I'm gonna put it temporarily so that way I can measure from the grass to confirm what the actual maximum height is to see that everything it has worked out uh. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.